Breaking news, Novak Djokovic has been denied access to Australia, denied entry to Australia because of a visa issue. He's got the medical exemption, we know that, but the visa issue is a problem. Let's go have a look at the border force and read their statement about the Djokovic denied entry to Australia. So this is what the Australian border force has come in and said, and they've been interrogating Djokovic all night. They've come out and said, the Australian border force will continue to ensure that those who arrive at our borders comply with our laws and entry requirements. The ABF can confirm that Mr. Djokovic failed to provide appropriate evidence to meet the entry requirements to, en uh, to, to Australia, and his visa has been subsequently canceled. Non-citizens, who do not hold a valid visa on entry or who have had their visa cancelled will be detained and removed from Australia. Now let's go to the Prime Minister's comments. About a two hours, about an hour ago, this is what Prime Minister Scott Morrison had to say about Djokovic. Mr. Djokovic's visa has been cancelled. Rules are rules, especially when it comes down to our borders. No one is above these rules. Our strong border policies have been critical to Australia having one of the lowest death rates in the world from COVID. We are continuing to be vigilant. And both of those are on Twitter. Go check them out. I've retweeted them for you to read if you want to read them yourselves. But that's the story. So Djokovic is being detained. When I say detained, he's been put up in a hotel while he waits for his flight out of Australia back to Europe. He's going back to Europe. It's a crazy story. Uh, and from what we can tell by all the information, Djokovic's visa was not the correct visa. He applied for the wrong visa and the medical exemption that he got didn't match up with the visa and wasn't enough. That combination didn't let him in. Now he got approved to play the Australian Open. He's still, a play he's still on the list to play the Australian Open. He's going to have to go back we don't know if you can apply for another visa. If there's a period of time where you, can, you get denied a visa, you have to wait, you know, two months, three months, or if it's instant, another, you can apply for the new visa straight away. We'll find out. But the medical exemption, he doesn't have, apparently also doesn't have supporting documents for that. So again, it's a little bit murky. It's a little bit gray, the, the area of what's happening, but that is sort of where we're at now. And it's an ongoing story. We're going to keep up to date with it all day. But let me know in the chat. Let me know down in the comments below if you're watching this video in the replay. What do you think? What do you think? Should Djokovic be let in? Rules are rules. But should Djokovic be allowed to play? Could this have been avoided? Let me know down below. It's a massive story. It's bigger than tennis. It's become a political COVID world law issue. Djokovic just being the face of it. What a day. What a crazy story.